Today on Filet TV, we are going to take a look at another one of the teardrop trailers I built. This was my first teardrop trailer and kind of inspired me to put together a couple more. Stick around, I think you're going to enjoy it. Hey, hey, it's Filet and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinephotographer, just a dude with a camera. So many years back, this farmer guy, yeah, cliche, gave me this trailer and it was pretty cool. That drop axles wasn't in too bad a shape. So I kind of did some little bit of reinforcement on it. And I was just going to make myself a little steak bed trailer just to haul stuff around to the swap meet. Then after thinking and looking at a couple of pictures online, I started getting some ideas to build a little teardrop trailer. So as you can see, I kind of framed it up, some wood, put a wood platform on it. Got the sides all drawn out, cut out the doors, started assembling it, nailed the sides on, and I used some one by two poplar hardwood to put some ribs across the top as, you know, using it as like rafters. And then I kind of framed it in. I was originally going to put a fan on the top there, but then I thought it'd look kind of hokey, so I kind of gave up on that idea. I drew out these, uh, this piece of wood here to make the frame for the rear hatch. Kind of just laid it into place, etched it out, clamped them together, grinded them all down so they matched, bolted them together, did the same thing, put some rafters in. I lined it with some eighth inch birch paneling as a headliner. A couple of hinges on it temporarily to make it open and close, a little bit of a latch. And I put a headliner completely on the inside of the main cabin. You can see, got my white walls all together, started assembling, you know, what I needed for the doors. Got these great windows and some visors for it. Got those online at teardropsparts.net. Don't even know if they're still in business. And the thing was ready to camp. It was, you know, dried in. As long as I didn't, you know, let it rain on it, it was in pretty good shape. Took it out a few times, really enjoyed it. And then I decided I was going to skin the whole outside in aluminum. So I started with some masonite over the roof. On the deck lid, I kind of strapped down the, the deck lid with the aluminum on it and some glue. As you can see, it turned out pretty good. License plate light in place and everything. And then I did the same thing on the roof. A little bit of glue, skinned it, tied it up with some, some straps. Let it dry overnight. Worked out pretty good. Got it, the correct piano hinge for this thing. Made it weatherproof. Worked out pretty well. Then it was time to work on the sides. Disassembled it all, got my side sheeting, got it in place, cut it, bolted it all together, sealed it, ready to go. Thought it looked pretty good to me. These fenders are replicas of a 1940 Ford. And here you go at camping trip at Pomona Swap Meet. Pretty fun stuff. I think it turned out pretty good for my first try. Not even really knowing what I'm doing, just kind of following some plans online. I think it worked out pretty good. Anyways, I was excited. I hope you guys are. I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Still got two or three more of these things that I made that I've got plenty of photos on that I will upload them, give everybody a chance to see them. And as you can see, I kind of got the bug and decided it was time to do a couple more. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Filet TV. We also do trailers. Enjoy.